Hello there, Gemini. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for April 6th through the 12th. I am using my Shadow Scapes deck. Her name is Lavender. I name all of my decks. Um, so anyway, what we have coming up for you, Gemini, on Monday is we have the Devil card. <laughs> now, I love the Devil card, especially in this deck. It's such an accurate, accurate depiction. You know, we've got this person inside of here inside this little cave, all curled up, totally afraid to move, just completely, just just trying to lay low and stay out of the way, basically. And then you've got the devil up here, dancing on top, playing with her heart. God only knows. You can just imagine what he's saying that has her so brought up and worked up that she's basically in the fetal position here in this cave. But here's the deal. Do you see the key hanging right there? at the top of the cave within reach all she would have to do is reach out and grab it and she could unlock herself and free herself it's right there and it's the same way for us there's so many times when we're locked into fear because that's the devil's tool that he uses against us is fear he doesn't have any power over us that we don't give him and so what he uses is fear to play us like his little puppets. And so when he's using that fear, the thing is, if we can overcome the fear, whatever fear it is that we have, then we don't have to be his puppets anymore. So this is such an accurate card. Here's the key right here. All she has to do is reach up like this, grab the key, pull it out of the little mask's mouth, untie her wrist, done. Hello. Same way for us. Face the fear. Face the fear. Face the fear and then move forward. Because a lot of times we can have some really irrational fears, guys. Have you ever noticed that about yourself? I've noticed it about me. I can be afraid of the craziest things. <laughs> and then when we pick that fear apart, well, wait, why am I afraid of this? What happens if the, in the worst case scenario? Would I live through that? How important would that be, really? <laughs> <laughs> and then the end you're going, oh, gosh, why am I so afraid of this? It's just totally recoverable even if it does happen. Who cares? So this is basically what this card is saying. When the devil card comes up on Monday, the devil card is telling me that you, Geminis, are facing some fears on Monday. You're looking them straight in the eye and you're just going, wait a second, why am I so afraid of you? The one, two, knockout punch, baby, there you go. The beautiful thing is once you face those fears, you can move on your life path so much more productively. So that is an awesome, awesome card. Okay? So Gemini Tuesday, what we have coming up for you is we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And the Seven of Cups in reverse just means, um, Gemini, that you're really, you have some dreams that you would like to reach but you're having a hard time really putting together a plan of how to get from here to there, okay? Um, and that happens to a lot of us a lot of times. So this card is really just kind of encouraging you, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. So maybe you can't see the whole path. Maybe you don't know the whole path. Like, um, it's very similar to real life, not to know the whole path or not to be able to see the whole path. If I was to drive from here to my parents' house, I live in Colorado, my parents live in Missouri, and let's say that I would do some of my driving after dark. I can only see so much of the road, even with my headlights on. But do you think I'm still going to make it to my parents' house? Sure, because I'll keep seeing a little bit more and 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 a little bit more. And as I drive a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, eventually I make it. Well, it's the same for reaching our dreams. We don't always see the full path to attaining our dreams. But if we can do what we see would get us in the right direction, then we can attain the dreams. We get there eventually, one step after another. And sometimes you just start with baby steps. Well, you know, what if you have a dream Let's say that you're my age, let's say you're 45, and you have a dream to be a psychologist, and you don't have any college. How are you going to do that? Well, you could, you know, you could just be depressed about it and say, well, I'm 45. By the time I was a psychologist, I'd be, what is that, like 12 years of schooling or something? I would be, what, 57? You know, and you can hang your head and say, well, I guess that's one dream I'll never do in my life. The other thing you can do is 
figure out how you can make the money to take your first class and keep taking classes and keep taking classes and keep taking classes. Because here's the kicker if you think about it, guys. In 12 years, guess what? You're going to be 57 anyway. In 12 years, you can be 57 and not any closer to being a psychologist. Or in 12 years, you can be 57 and be graduating from school and looking for, okay, where do I start my practice? You know? So it's all about taking that first step. And so this is what I'm seeing is on Tuesday, you don't know how to get from here to there. You know what your dream is. You just don't see the whole path. Well, start taking those first steps because as you start taking those first steps, then the rest of the path will open up to you gradually. Just keep on stepping. Okay? So that is talking about Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, what we have coming up is we have the Two of Wands in reverse. And the Two of Wands in reverse just really tells me that you're looking around at the people that you influence in your life. And you're looking around at the things that you affect. And on Wednesday, I have this feeling that comes off of this card that says that you're not so happy with how you've been affecting those people that are in your sphere of influence. You're not so happy with the effects that you've been having on them. And so Wednesday is kind of another decision-making day, a day of deciding, what am I going to do to change this? What am I going to do so that I will have a better effect on the people around me? And it's funny, I think this card came up for Aries, but it came up right side up, but it kind of puts me on my soapbox again for the second time in one day. Maybe it was Taurus. But anyway... When we are looking at how we affect the people around us, the real important thing to remember is that if we are happy, we can make the people around us happy. We can be helpful to them. All that good stuff. If we are not happy, we can't. So if we're taking care of ourselves, if we're doing those things that make us happy, if we're keeping our bodies taken care of, we're staying healthy, we're staying in shape, we're doing those things that really propel us forward, then we're able to influence the people around us in a positive way. Now, if we're letting stress get to us, if we're getting down, if we allow our immune system to go down and get sick, big flashing lights pointing at me right here, (laughs) then what happens? We're not following our happiness, and now we can't help anybody. And for those of you who haven't been following me for a while, you know it was only two or three weeks ago that I couldn't even put out videos until almost a week late for me because I had not been taking care of myself. I had been letting stress get to me and I got my immune system and I had bronchitis so badly I didn't work for 10 days. I wasn't able to help anybody for 10 days. Okay, so that's what we can do to ourselves if we don't take care of ourselves. So by no means am I judging anybody for being in that position. Hello, look at me. I'm there. Or I was there. At least I'm recovering. I'm taking better care of myself now. So it's easy to get in that position. It's also easy to turn it around. It's easy to go, whoa, wait a second. (laughs) Why did my immune system go down? What was I stressing out about? How was I not taking care of myself? Let's fix that. Let's change that. (laughs) So then you can start to move forward. And once you can change that, then you can start influencing the people in your sphere in a much better way. Okay? It's always easier to influence people in a positive way when you're healthy and happy. All right. So then on Thursday, what we have coming up is we have the lover's card in reverse. And the lover's card in reverse just tells us that on Thursday, there's somebody that we're in a relationship with that we're going to be kind of button heads. There's going to be something goes along that we don't totally agree with them on. And that's going to come up on Thursday. It's just going to be a situation of, of you know, we have to, you guys are going to have to figure it out. How do you make this work? Because I see you guys really just, you know, having this argument, having this thing that you don't agree on that really has to be ironed out between the you and whoever this other person is. And it could be a significant other. It could also be a family member or a friend or somebody from work. could be anybody that you have a regular, um, by regular I mean you talk to them regularly or you interact with them regularly. Anybody that you have any regular interactions with. Okay? Now, Friday, Gemini, what you have coming up is the King of Cups. 
And I feel like for most of you, this just means that you're going to be feeling very romantic Friday. You're going to feel like um, really just expressing your feelings and um, enjoying life. Really in an appreciative state where you're just really appreciating life and all of its benefits, all of the wonderful things about it on Friday. Um, an attitude of gratitude <laughs> is what I see showing up on Friday for you. And then Saturday, what we have coming up is we have the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse just talks about that there is, let's see, what is this saying for us? Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. Okay, so things are changing in your life right now, Gemini. There's a lot going on and there's a lot of things changing besides just the seasons right now. So, um... Okay, so the message here is to remember that even though things are changing, it's a part of the normal life cycle for things to change. We don't stay the same. We don't stagnate. Things are always going to be different, different, different. Every single day something's a little different. And sometimes we go through bigger changes than others. And so the message here is not to be afraid of the change. I'm kind of getting a picture of, of you Gemini's just kind of like almost like hanging on to the wheel, just kind of like white knuckling it, like, no, 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 don't move. We don't want that wheel to change. We don't want the change in our lives. Um, we're really, if you embrace the change, go with it, see what opportunities are coming out of this change, it can be so enjoyable. But you have to make room for it to be enjoyable. You have to let go of that fear of change to let it be enjoyable. It can be exhilarating. All right, and then on Sunday, what you guys have coming up, Gemini, is the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands really, to me, talks about someone coming back to the nest. So this is kids moving back into mom and dad's house. This is people coming home from college. This is old friends moving back into the neighborhood. This is somebody being transferred into your branch or your location if it's a work situation. And if it's a relationship situation and there's somebody that you've split up with, this can be a reunion of those two people, of you and that other person. Okay, so some type of reunion or coming back to the nest. The other way that this card can manifest is as celebration. So maybe the whole family getting together to celebrate somebody's birthday or first communion or, or you know, maybe return from duty overseas or something like that. Um, also, this can be a new baby coming home. For some of you, I feel like it is going to be a new baby coming home. Yay. <laughs> okay, so Gemini, that is your week. For those of you who would like to schedule a private reading with me, please make sure I'm the best reader for you. Check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you've poked around a little bit there, if you still feel like I'm the best person for you to work with, feel free to contact me and we will set up a ske or schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. And for everybody else, I'll see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.